let's begin the day the way all the dancers do. We're here in the classroom. They're all limbering up, getting ready for a full day of rehearsals. We're going to be talking to some of the dancers later on. But first, I'll hang you over to our ballet mistress, Olga Evrenov. Legs together. Fifth. That's it. All right. Oh, you're hidden there, Rio. Left side. Ready? And. Literally hidden. And one. <laughs> and stretch. Uh, yeah, but Romy, that's it, right, uh, good, and sooner heels uh, down, um, uh, Meg, and up, and two shoulders, Passing the knee, good. Side, lift up. Forward. Yeah, but keep the legs turned out, Thunder. Don't twist them about. And up. The knee. And arms arabesque, reach. Fifth, two the knee plies and stretch. And the knee. So, two PK front, two to the side, two to the back and brush through first. Continue the little brush and six and seven and eight. Two to the back, two in second. Two in front, brush seven and eight, and eight more back, more cloche, and that's it, yeah? Ready, and. Kick, kick, back, 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 and through. Really massage the floor all the way with foot, back. Stretching knee to the back, Eric, careful. Yeah. Keep that arm long. Yeah, Valera, don't be late. Back, 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 back. <laughs> Good. And the ends of the toes down. Don't let them not slide. Okay, so prepare, and it is just four hold the jambes on the floor. Two and three and four. You go plie, stretch and so, reach. Um, uh, I'm joined now by Jonathan Cope, who was a principal dancer here at the, uh, the Royal Ballet and is now one of the coaches and teachers, correct? That's correct, yes. Right, okay. Uh, and so, I mean, this, is, uh, this has been part of your life now for, I don't know, the last 20, 25 years. You started your days like this pretty much every day? Uh, pretty much. I started dancing when I was six years old. Wow. Uh, on a Saturday morning in the local town hall, and, um, and so sort of channeled right through. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and yeah. you, you and I, I'm sure you're bored of being asked this, but you were you were Darcy uh, Bustle's dancing partner for a while, right? I was, yes. Danced wow. many of uh, the classic roles with Darcy Bustle. Yeah, well, that must have been yeah, fantastic. Favorite. Yes, no, it really was. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, and uh, and just talk me through. Just talk me through. Obviously, I was talking to Kristen yeah. about it, but talk yeah. me through um, what's going on here. Obviously, the piano players playing live. Why is that so important? Um, it's so important because of the music. Music really is the inspiration for every dancer yeah. and a lot of companies don't have the luxury of having a, a live pianist in the studio. They work off a, a CD player that's, you know, for each individual exercise someone pushes a button and then the music plays. So to have a live pianist here is absolutely wonderful and it does provide, you know, as I said, the sort of inspiration for all the dancers to get up and do this every morning. Absolutely, right. So it's, 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 as much as anything, it's just kind of bringing the vibe, really. It's bringing the vibe. It's all about expressing the music dancing, really. Yeah. Um, having the live music on the wonderful grand piano there, and you can feel it yourself. You no, know, it's lovely. It's really, really nice. Like, yeah. I feel euphoric. I almost, yeah. I almost feel like joining in. Well, there you go. Um, I saw, <laughs> I saw a couple of the girls just as we were coming in. They were, they were sitting there banging. They were banging something on the floor. And oh, then I right. It was their shoes yes. they were banging. What's, That's right. What's that all about? Well, I, um, as you probably are aware, 
Um, they're not in them at the moment because this is just the class, but they wear a point shoe, okay. which allows them to go right onto their toes. And the end of that point shoe is made of like a block. It's almost like a block of wood. Right. And it's very hard. And when they run, it's very noisy. So in order to soften the bit of wood and the whatever it is, they bash them to take the sort of sound out. To so take the it. creaking out of the front Exactly of the that. Otherwise, the elegance. Yeah. If you, if <laughs> all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bang, 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 bang yeah, when they run that's along. Not so work, it's right, not going to okay. work. So, um, uh, now, <laughs> some of these guys later on, I, I think, are going to be rehearsing for Romeo and Juliet. Yes, I believe you've, so. You've danced Romeo? I have. How yes. demanding a, a part is uh, that? It's a fantastic part because it's uh, both physically demanding but also emotionally, obviously, being that it's Romeo. Uh, but it's, it's one of our greatest productions by Kenneth Macmillan. And, um, you know, an incredible challenge, really, both as an artist and also technically, yeah. Okay. And, and how, long, how long would you have to be kind of in the company before you got the chance to be Romeo? Depends on your talent. Right, okay. How long did it take you? <laughs> I don't remember, sort of mid-twenties, probably. Right, okay. But, I mean, you, That's if, quite if, early if to me, Jonathan. If you're talented yeah. enough, it could come even earlier, really? I'm sure, yeah. Well, right, okay. If you're well, what's, what's the prime look like kind of age for, for a ballet dancer? The prime age? Yeah, like football has really um, kind of come into their own about 27, 28, something like um, that. I would say it's similar. I mean, the thing is, uh, you know, the mind gets wiser and more experienced as an artist, but the body is continually getting weaker. So there comes a point where the mind is actually, as an artist, kind of there, and the body is still strong, and I think that's your peak. And yeah. I would say it's kind of 30, early 30s possibly when the wisdom is there and the body is still strong yeah right. okay yeah. and then and then at what point at what point do you say you know what <laughs> I, i'm gonna move over to well, being a teacher or i'm gonna be a coach <laughs> when you look at the younger lad next to you who's sort of jumping six feet higher than there you was are. A, there was a guy there was a guy over there who was doing a kind of pendulum with his leg when he was warming up and oh, his right. leg was just completely there and well, then just back the other way and it was well when you see that sort of thing yeah, and you're in your it. early 40s you yeah, think yeah. right well i think games it's about up here games up here right okay you might and, have the experience but the body says no and and what's the difference <laughs> between being a, a teacher because you said you know i'm kind of both teacher and coach what's the differentiation um, between well, I I don't sort of teach the steps. I can teach the steps, but a coach, I guess, is is more, you know, providing inspiration to the dancers, encouraging them to be an artist in their own right, having their own identity, you know, and feeding ideas to them about how to portray a certain role, that sort of thing. Right, okay. um, so that's so you, you, know, you get far more involved, I suppose, in the kind of emotional side of it. Well, we the, do uh, because performing it is certainly with the, the, the ballets, like you've just mentioned, Romeo and Juliet, those sort of ballets that do have a large sort of emotional input. It's, you that's know, it's great this. to have someone to bounce ideas off as an artist. Yeah, absolutely. It's All right, Jonathan. Well, listen, really lovely no, talking to you. Nice thank to you to very you. much, yeah. and um, okay. well, I've been seeing you throughout thank the day. I'm sure. You. All right. Okay. Well, Marvelous. Okay. Thank you. So on we go when we're ready. Kate uh, in three, uh, Adagio. So it goes like this. Tallier forward and you go under one. And right away, step tallier back. You bring arm up and it's a full hold de chambre all the way to the back to quasi arabesque. You promenade back on you. And six to first arabesque, so you change the arms. Plier, brush, relevé, tomber to arabesque. Pas de bourré, prepare and step, and then through plié, full port de bras, just opening arm out, and you're ready the other side. Step one, croisé, step two, open, lift three, full hold de chambre to the back, promenade, six, seven, you hold the eight, you finish first arabesque, brush through into arabesque, pas de bourré, and Tallier to prepare, and then just through plié, round, round, and you open the arm, okay? Was clear? Ready? And. And croisé one. And open back, and around, and back, good. And left shoulder bend, careful, and hold first arabesque. Pierre Berabesque, and go. Up and forward. Pas de bourré, and stretch. Plié down. And sweep through and up. So, Jonathan, they've got rid of the rails now. They've moved uh -huh. them to the side. What's yep. going on? Well, they've let go of the bars, as you said. They, they just provide support. Yeah. Um, so you can really concentrate on the, the legs and the accuracy of your work. So now they've moved into the center where you now have to find your own balance because you're on your own legs. 
So now we're opening up a bit and we're starting to move a little and start to sort of dance properly, so to speak. Okay. Um, and this is just the first exercise. It's like a little pour de bra, just to get the body moving slowly. And they work in two groups as the class is so big. It's, it's so big. Mm -hmm. And there'll be a, a couple of classes like this going on simultaneously? Um, yes, normally three or two classes, yeah, because the company's so large. Um, often broken down into a, a female and male class. So oh. the steps can then be tailored, um, you know, to the, to the sex. Right, you were mentioning what they're wearing, which yeah. is, um, you know, they just put together whatever they want, really. You see some yeah. pretty interesting Interesting outfits, sort of <laughs> combinations of outfits, leotards and tights. Um, but often it's sort of tailored to cover up areas of yourself you don't like. So, you know, really if, you, right, okay. if you've got a particular body part that you don't think is particularly... But they've got, they've got the most <laughs> incredible... Like, the guys yeah. have almost got, like, an extra muscle above their glutes kind of thing. Like they, they have. Got, they yes, do have an extra they, muscle. That's yeah, why it looks like they, they do. They really do, yeah. It's all the lifting of the leg, I think, which... which gets all that, uh, that build up. But they're all very lean. There's no body fat There's on anybody. There's no body fat on anybody. No, no. But it's an intensive day because this is just the start physically, and then it's going to go through. And they, they all I mean, day. And mm. what, what kind of stuff? I mean, they're, they're eating pasta and they're eating. I'm sure they're all having croissant <laughs> for breakfast, which isn't <laughs> what you'd expect from a bunch of athletes. But I suppose no. they're just working so hard. Well, I mean, some are more diet conscious than others. I, I guess it what works for you, but. Um, you know, a lot of them do survive on Coca-Cola and Mars bars right. um, in their youth. But as you get older, you realise that you start looking after, yourself, looking a after yourself a little bit more and well, realise realize the importance. Did you notice yeah. a shift, obviously, with, it, like, you know, I know sports science or whatever, you know, kind of over the last 10, 15 years, it's come on incredibly. People understand body conditioning that much more. You're absolutely right about that. It has changed the, the support and the understanding of the body. It's the same with the football, though, yeah. isn't it, really? And, you know, even the psychology of it all and the mindset. Um, so there's, there's, there's so much available to them in terms of training and keeping the body in top shape. Yeah. Do you um, have physios here? And, we and have masseuse physios and, and, yes, we do masseuse and pilates, which is quite a big thing for, uh, you know, maintaining the condition of the body. So... Uh, it's all available, but you cannot, I don't believe, beat this, what we're seeing now, the class for maintaining the body in a classical shape. It's, it's kind of the perfect form of yeah. exercise. Exercising every little tiny muscle. Right, thank you, Jonathan. We'll come back no? to you shortly. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, ready, coupe jeté. Hop and go and hop, ba, 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 hop, ba, four and hop, arms through first. Ba, 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 yes, from good girl and hop, ba, ba, hop and go. More than one at a time, try to go two at a time, please. left, go right, and one, ba, 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 hop, ba, 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 get the arm there, ba, ba, hop, good, hop, ba, da, da, ba, ba, step, step, go chest, hop, ba, hop, ba, 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 back leg, don't cut the corners, Tristan, off the ground, up, Braccia prima posizione Valentino. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but get your arms organized, Valentino, please, for this. 
Anybody turns or switch? We have one minute, so that's about it. Ready? We could keep going, Coda. Turns in second or fourth. And hop, Good go. And hop, Squeeze the plie, uh, Claudia. Yeah, it's the one from the relevé. That's the one that you jerked out. Hop. Second leg, second. Hop. Yeah. Good, Lizzie. Hop. Two legs. Two legs. Hop, ba, ba. Hop, ba, ba. Don't wiggle your uh, shoulders when you do Sissi's bear. It's just in the legs. Okay, thank you very much, Kate. Thanks, thanks, guys.